Welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna to be diving into AV Assembly sandbox mode for my first time using the sandbox mode and I actually didn't even realize you were gonna you it allows you to choose different biomes uh, different types including just flat up ocean uh, and then these are like the normal ones that you see in the campaign and then you have flat and you also have the option for infinite fuel or not and I'm gonna choose to not have infinite fuel for this because I actually want to test out some of the other types of the electric engine type stuff and see if we can get some type of our own infinite fuel that is built into our plane. Cause I think there's like solar panels, so like there's energy generation, electricity generation and things like that. So there might be a way to have a self recharging fuel system if our fuel is electricity based and actually even if we had infinite fuel it might not even matter anyway but um we're probably gonna need a light vehicle for this this is not gonna be a cargo carrying style video this is going to be a just pure plane building but uh here like can i spawn in yes i think i can i just want to see what the map looks like can i open up the map all right well we haven't explored the map at all so there it is. This is our map. What happens if we go to research? I mean, everything should be unlocked. Yeah, so here's the stuff. Small batteries. We got solar panels, air turbine, decoupler and rotation joints. Interesting. We can create some mobile things. I wonder if we can create like a flap, like an ornithopter. You think we can create an ornithopter? That would be interesting. You got to see how these things work. Because that would also be technically infinite. These things don't say they have energy consumption. Because like uh, these things... You can see, oh, they generate electricity. This consumes electricity. Well, interesting. So turboprop engine consumes fuel, but generates electricity, but nothing generates fuel. So we wouldn't want to use that. We would run out of fuel. An electric engine consumes electricity. So this is obviously just a bigger, more efficient version of that. So it looks like these big electric engines would be like the option if we're going to have a, a self recharging source of thrust if we don't go with trying out an ornithopter. I don't know if an ornithopter is going to work. I don't know how the rotation joints are programmed, but you know, let's just let's just play around and see if we can get something. All right, so let me just attach a fuselage and let's see what does this rotation joint look like? Okay, so there's that. Now, if I rotate it uh, this way, yeah, I have no idea how this may or may not work. Can I attach a fuselage to the side of a fuselage? Like, is this? I don't know. I don't know how any of this stuff is going to work. But settings, here we go. Rotate left, rotate right. So it had to be a manually controlled ornithopter. Can you use mouse click inputs? You can't use mouse click inputs. So now the thing is, we have this and I want it to flap the wings essentially, but I need like an attachment point for the wings, but we don't have like blocks. We only have like functional parts, you know what I mean? So if I want to attach the wing in this orientation to that, like, can I do this? And then just like scale up, uh, scale the whole thing down. No, I can't really, can I do the whole thing? I should be able to do the whole thing, right? No, that just moves it. I do kind of want it attached like right there. And I just want it to be smaller. Now let's just, Oh, plane has no wheel. Oh, I need to program this. Uh, let me just see if this works. So I'm kind of like trying to think of what would my road, what would my controls be? And I'm thinking like shift and space, because then I could also use WASD still for my um, pitch and roll. But let me see if this even does this even work. Oh, that's not even attached at all. Oh, okay. This is not gonna work. Because do you see the speed? The speed of that, uh, I didn't even think about the speed of the rotation, how crucial that's gonna be. And we have no speed settings. So these are more for like manual flaps or something like that, or like swept wings potentially. But how do I like, how do I guarantee that something even attaches to it? Like if that's right here and then here, is that attached? Oh, look at that. You think this is enough? I should have had mirror mode on. There we go. All right, so now what has the most lift? Lift 20, lift 90. There we go. Oh, I definitely need the controls on the other one. But do you think this could work? I don't think this is going to work at all. 
That doesn't seem to be working at all. Judging by this right here, how this has zero impact at all on our, like, uh, on our mass. Like, this should at least, like, wobble us a little bit in some way. I feel like the way that these wings are programmed are based off of your airspeed, like, going, moving forward. So I feel like we're not going to be able to generate lift at all like this. So this is the concept here. I don't feel like I'm getting any lift generation. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I blew up. All right, let's abandon the ornithopter uh, concept for now. Maybe the comments will let me know whether or not I was on the right track or if you just can't do ornithopters in this game. But it was a fun little experiment to just test out how these things work. Now let's do something a little bit more reasonable and uh, go with solar powered or hold on, what else do we have for electricity generation? We have batteries. Capacity one, recharge speed, air turbine for electricity generation. So what is recharge speed versus electricity generation? Oh, we'll probably need some big batteries. These are, these don't weigh very much. And stick the big batteries inside the fuselage. It makes the most sense to me. All right, we're gonna go with the most lift that we can. Lift 90 for the big wing, weight 5.5. Versus these really, or maybe, maybe lightweight. This is only lift 20 for weight 0.3. This is lift 90 for weight 5. This also gives us more wing surface area than the delta wing. Oh, by far. That looks pretty cool though. All right, so then solar panels to rotate these 90 degrees like that. I don't know how the solar panels necessarily work. You would assume that they would have to be exposed. So it gives us fuel information, but it doesn't give us like total electricity generation and consumption. Uh, here, let's check out the the big the big old electric uh, engines. Where are they? All right, big electric engine looks like this. That's interesting. I'm kind of inclined to put them behind the wings here, like maybe one set there and one set here. Oh, interesting. These wings are not on a level plane, which makes these also not very level. All right, I think I've added a good amount of solar panels. I don't know if it's enough to power these. So these generate recharge speed. It has recharge speed, so there's probably batteries. Batteries have a capacity of one. I have two in there. These have electricity consumption of one. So I don't know how any of that stuff maths out. If we have a what, one per what? One per second? So if these are, if we're consuming four per minute, maybe, I don't know. And we are generating what? Two? Do we need more batteries? Do I need to move these forward? I might need to move these forward for center of mass purposes. All right, uh, let's see how this thing feels. Oh, that looks weird. All right, here we go. We're taking off. All right, let me see if I go down. All right, now you can see the electricity generation happening versus electricity consumption. So now the question is, what am I, do my batteries have anything to do with this? I don't actually know if I even need batteries at all. If I have like, the solar panels should be generating electricity like anyway, but the batteries are where it gets stored, but you don't need to store it if you're using it at the same time. I don't know if adding more batteries is going to change anything other than our maximum electricity meter, but the batteries shouldn't change how fast that meter builds up, just how much it can build up. So then that's how much, even if we had zero electricity generation, that'll determine how long we last with zero generation. At least that's my assumption of how batteries versus solar panels should work. So the batteries would be helpful at night, but during the daytime like we are right now, I, just, I think we need more generation. How's our speed though? Our speed's okay. I wouldn't really want to go slower than this. Let's get back to our base and see if we can edit here. It might take a lot more. It might take a lot more to get more generation than consumption than I thought it would. All right, let's go to edit plane. And so these things recharge speed is 0.2, but these are electricity generation of 0.3. So if I do something like this, let's see how this affects things. 
So those are technically electricity generation as well. But you can clearly see... Oh! It slowed down for sure. That definitely offset our consumption. Okay, actually, can we enter a cruising speed that keeps our electricity consumption even? And it looks like we have it right here. And I do believe that we are actually slightly positive in our electric, our total electricity. Yep. Yeah. So here, let me uh, go max speed. We use more electricity. And then we'll go down to about here. Which I think is like a... Is it a safe cruising speed? Here, if I get closer to the ground, I'll be able to tell whether or not this is a safe cruising speed. Yeah, look at that. We now technically have... Uh, infinite flying capability. Infinite energy. Yeah, this is no problem. We just have to make sure that our throttle isn't maxed out. And as long as we have a nice cruising speed, we can generate more electricity than we're consuming. So it's a mix between solar and wind. Wind is really interesting to think about on a plane because you're always going to have wind. <laughs> but I feel like the intuitive thing physically would be the drag that is generated from these things shouldn't be able to be offset by the gener the electricity that they generate from the wind uh, force. Because then, essentially, the faster you go, the more electricity you've been generating, but also, like, the more energy you would need. There has to be a loss of energy somewhere, right? And that's where the solar panels are coming into play, because they're actually just getting, essentially, free energy from the sun. But the turbines themselves could not be self-sufficient, because there has to be a loss of energy through the drag or something. So the question is, are these worth it? On a plane, like, is it worth it to have these... Are they gonna offset the drag that they produce to the point where they actually become more, you get more energy than they steal? But that, that intuitively doesn't make sense to me because of, you know, conservation of energy. <laughs> Obviously it would make sense if you're a stationary object and there's a cross breeze, because that cross breeze isn't being generated from you. But the plane, the breeze is being generated from us propelling ourselves through the air. But we got a infinite energy, an infinite flying machine right now. The thing is, I don't really like, I don't like the way that that looks right now. I'm wondering if there's a way to place these where it's going to look more natural. Like, can I make a plane that actually looks realistic in a way? Like, does this look okay? This actually does kind of look okay. I think I'm going to move them in. Oh, undo that, please. Gonna move these in a little bit to be a little bit more flush. This actually looks pretty natural to me too. It's kind of weird that it's right in front of the wing, in my opinion. Like, I feel like there might be some interacting forces here with like, or is this like, does this help? If we're pushing wind through a turbine over the wing, does that give us more lift through the exhaust of the turbine? I'm sure this is a thing that engineers have contemplated and figured out the answer to. But if you have your turbine engine in front of the wing, I just feel like the heat generation from like a jet, like a jet engine is just bad for the wing. But if it's just like a, a turbine that's not like heating up stuff as it goes through, would that help you with lift? Would there, or would there be like a negative interaction with that? I don't know, there's just things I'm thinking about for the first time. Could I do like a, a wing tip? Hmm. This is a believable design to me. I do think that these would put undue stress on wings in a normal circumstance, but you would assume that if these were on the wings, you would have reinforced wings that would accommodate this. But then of course the question becomes, is the reinforcement that you're adding to the wings making them too heavy? But uh, this is a video game, okay? We don't gotta think about it that hard. All right, let's see how this feels. All right, take off. It should theoretically feel the same. All right, slow down to a cruising speed. And if we look really closely at our electricity, I believe it is creeping up ever so slowly. We are very, very slowly getting energy back right now. Yeah, it's close. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I, wait, it's going down now or is it going up? It's like hovering. It's going up. I think it's going up. 
I was gonna cruise a little bit. We should see that gap close. It's closing. His wings are huge. It is kind of, it is a little bit weird seeing the big old wing tips. I feel like this is a believable design. Solar powered and wind powered. <laughs> a wind powered plane. All right, let's put our landing gear back down. It's not a real plane if uh, you don't come in for a landing. All right, let's approach nice and steady. And there we go. Not bad at all. Our bottom propellers are a little close to the ground there, but it was a safe landing nonetheless. All right, so that was my first little experiment into sandbox mode and using the all the electrical stuff. Yeah, we got to mess with batteries. I didn't, I, what would be the point of a decoupler? I don't know what you would want to decouple from your plane. But yeah, solar panels, air turbines for electricity generation. Uh, the batteries, I guess, just determine how much capacity we're going to have. Rotation joints, probably just for like swept wings. Could, uh, could maybe experiment with like a swept wing plane. So let me know if there's anything you'd like to see me experiment with in future sandbox episodes. I feel like there's a lot of interesting stuff that this game will allow for. I kept seeing infinite energy in the comments, so I wanted to give that a try and see how this electricity stuff worked. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, you'll probably enjoy some more you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.